today talking to True Position. So uh, how long have you been here? Uh, I've been here 15 years. What's your name? My name is Marvin. Nice to meet you, Marvin. Uh, yeah, we've been here roughly two years. Uh, in the past two years, we've upgraded all, most of our machines to newer equipment. Okay. Uh, our latest machine is a Swiss machine. So okay, wow. It's a wow. 205 Wow, is this a... Uh, one millimeter. So are you making these little, yes. little guys on yes. here? So we go from one, we got a specialized bar feeder that was about $30,000. Oh wow. So it runs one millimeter stock and it goes up to uh, three quarters of an inch or 20 millimeters. Okay, so it seems like really in line for medical stuff to me. Yes. But uh, I can imagine you... Then, what you making here? <clears throat> Those are pretty. Those are coming right off the machine, that shiny? Yeah. Where are you? Uh, What's your name? Edgar. How long you been here? Uh, four months. Nice, high five. Yeah. And Thank you're you. already running that machine, you must already know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, so what this does, it takes a picture of the part and it checks, we put parameters in it that tell it what the tolerances are. So it tells us if it's good, if it's good or bad just by pressing the button. How do you like this machine? We love it. Uh, so really, you just stick the part on there and bam, you know whether it's good or bad. Because yeah. you're, you're inputting the information what it needs to be. Yeah. Do you have to put the part on a certain area? No, anywhere on the screen, and it'll locate it. I'm not familiar with it. So it's a wire EDM. So oh, uses, okay. So uses electricity and wire to cut. Them yeah, out. I know a wire EDM. Yeah. I've just never seen a, such a nice one. Oh, okay. So <laughs> this is our fixtures. We're okay. setting we're setting it up for it to, for it to run automated. Oh wow. Uh, this is the OV7 from Productive Robotics. Collaborative robot. Wow. And all you do is you give it its locations of where your fixtures are. Yeah. And it, it'll it'll load and unload each. Nice stuff. You guys have a good shop here. Thank you. Two spindles, um, one turret, the axis head, goes up to 80 tools. Uh, it's really made for more mass manufacturing, uh, more complex parts. And it's double turret? Yeah, so it's got an upper. 15 micro finish? Yes, yeah, about 15 micro finish. Wow, so that's all, that is, wow. That and is. And then with this new machine, uh, we've got a big cool What this does, it checks, it, it sends a percentage of coolant into each machine. So if we want to run higher concentrations, we can run higher concentration on one machine. If we want to run it for lower concentration for another machine, uh, it'll actually adjust for it. We can adjust the parameters so that'll send it for each one. How do you like the system? Oh, we love it. Uh, we no longer have our guys pushing buckets around with coolant and spilling it. Or the guys, the worst case scenario is guys that don't maintenance their machine because then your your pH levels get uh, really bad and you, then you get mold and yeah. plumbing and all this other stuff. So you're working with a lot of water solubles here? Yes. We're actually running full synthetic, but we got okay. away from water soluble. So okay. we're running the Blazer Synergy 735. Okay, just, how do you like it? We love it. Get a nice finish no on the foaming, parts. No good finish, no residue on the parts. It's amazing. Wow. Deuce on SMX complete uh, one operation. That is pretty. And what do those go on? Is that aerospace? It's aerospace, yes. Okay. It's a uh, uh, thermal fluid. Okay. Um, so you have a CMM Yeah, two, two CMMs. One's a, um, uh, it uses hands, so you, you just move it around. The other one's an actual DNC. Okay. Uh, and it uses. Like, you know if it's like PC DMIS controls or. You know what? Um, we used to do use PC DMIS, but we've upgraded our, our software. Okay. Um, I can't tell you right now. Yeah, but you is, like but this they, better. It, better yeah, than the oh, PC yeah. DMIS? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's difficult to find a CMM guy. Yeah. Person. Yes. Yeah. I know a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm you. Good, good. You run both of these, so you're, you're, <laughs> you're running two machines at once, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So, what kind of experience did you have before you come here? Uh, none. Really? Uh, zero experience. I started from the bottom in the bird. Okay. Took a couple of months and then learning step by step, you know, learning how to measure tool or use my tools, calipers, micrometers. Wow. And then well, step by step, I'm running my machine. And what's your name? Andres. Nice to yeah. meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, we and basically bring uh, qualified technicians. Okay. And we, we have the qualified technician tell him what to do, so he's the one getting the hands-on experience. Oh wow, okay. how long have you been here for? Almost two years. Well, congratulations. Thank you. How do you like being a machinist? It's fun. Yeah. It's fun getting just a raw piece of material and making something sure. cool out of it, yeah. That's pretty neat. I bet you see some interesting things at yeah. this shop. In there, huh? With the help of my, uh, well, another Your machine. colleague here, yeah? yeah? are 
odd 80 holes. Oh my god. Down at the bottom. That's that about is not easy an to inch, do. About a little over an inch deep. Wow. To get that. This is a 60 thousandths wall. Wow. That is a very trick part. You need that whole thing. Plus or minus one. Wow, it is thin. Yeah. Did you make that out of a solid piece? Yes. Holy cow. That's the medical. And what's uh, what's the material? Is it stainless? Uh, it's, it's titanium. Oh, titanium. Yeah. Wow. What do you got to do that thing? Um, well, this was like a complete circle, and they just cut the half off, so okay. we got to take the sharp edges off of these. Well, that's pretty intricate. Yeah. If you get, if you get a 500,000 of those things to do in a day, that won't be too yeah. fun, right? <laughs> They're really easy to bend, too. So oh, you so you got to be like, really careful. Yeah. What's your name? Ernesto. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been here? You're new? Um, six months. Okay, this is yeah. where you start from. The guys down there, they yeah. say they all started up here. and they move they, down there. Are you looking so forward cool. to being a machinist? Yeah. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Well, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. Oh, you also uh, stock parts. Yeah, so this is our Kanban system. Uh, basically, our customers uh, tell us what they create a blanket order. Okay. So we stock their parts so that they're ready to ship. Wow, that is just something else. Holy cow. To turn that around. That's, oh, you made the whole thing. That's unbelievable. One piece. Two operations. Very nice. Okay. It's got a little bit of an undercut right there. Okay. There's a lot of yeah, this is a display mount. Okay. Wow. Okay, and those are all intentional. Yep. Okay, very cool. A lot of, a lot of different dimensions on it. Mm -hmm. That's a, a half inch 80 thread. Wow. Uh, this is actually cut at seven degrees off center. I don't know if you can see that with your camera. Yeah, kind of. So you can see where the music comes in. Or just show you turning it around and they'll see all the different little intricate sure. yeah so all these features are actually in the part design so that's why we have i don't know if you can see the finish i, I can phone. okay good um and then we do the masking you know a lot of through holes that wow are that's where the real problems come out but you've got it down yeah 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 very cool. wow so he treated stainless okay that is a lot of material. <clears throat> wow, stainless. Uh, Key trade stainless, 15.5. 15.5. Uh, one, one thou flatness, uh, 5 tenths roundness on the bore. So now, are you making that out of round bar? or? That's correct, out of round bar, yeah. Uh, uh, what's the diameter start at, like six? Six, six and a quarter. Oh, this okay. is, what is this again? This is 4130 steel. Okay. Um, what do those things go for? Basically, these things go into the bottom of the ocean and trace movements of the earth from a missile being launched. Wow! So that is just one uh, idea or an invention. And yeah. Say, look, hey, look, we can trace any missile launch from you know here to Japan. All we gotta do is you know put it. Put in, these guys in there. Then they, the government buys it and says, okay, we'll take a hundred of them. In. Nice. Yeah. Wow. So you guys are keeping America safe. Yes. <laughs> one, one, one part of the time. There it is. That looks like aluminum. That is correct. What is that, 6061? Yep. Wow, that's neat. That's What's your cycle time on that part? Uh, it's about 30 minutes. Wow. And you have to check every single one? Uh, not every single one. Like every, uh, every other yeah, type exactly. of deal? Yeah, uh, exactly. We're just checking for gotcha. a Gotcha. Very nice. Wow. Okay, tell me about it. Yeah, so what we did is in order to save on the cycle time, we wanted to load off, uh, off the machine. Oh. So we have one pallet with four parts, uh, sorry, eight parts loaded, and there's four operations. So there's two per, and the parts rotate. So um, they basically start, and they machine off the tops, then they roll the parts over, then they machine the holes, wow. then they machine the, they, they roll it over, then they machine the other holes, and then it rolls over. Get up there. Who yeah. came up with that idea? Uh, that's actually Todd, the owner of the company. Okay. Wow. He's a smart man. Yeah. It's a wonder why he owns this company. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got some interesting ways of doing things. Wow. That makes it a way more cost effective 
way to run the part. Now you're loading, unloading, tightening parts while your machine's running. Right, wow. Very nice. How do you spell that? Uh, B U E L L T O N. Okay, yeah. California. Wow, and you guys, uh, and your your AS9100 and all? AS9100, ITO, ISO. Okay. Yeah, so we're. And you, you need some more, you want some more work out here? You got we're, we're hungry. You got machines <laughs> growing, for, open yeah. for people? Yes, okay, a lot very of capacity. Cool. And, and if they want to email you a quote, or how do they get in touch with you? Uh, Marvin at True Precision Machining.com. 805, you can call my cell phone direct, 805 455 3678. Okay, and then I can just contact you and yep. get a quote? Yep. Perfect, thanks. Okay. So. And uh, you work with um, all kinds of materials, titanium? Yeah, titanium. We got some titanium over here. We got aluminum. Okay. We got heat treated stainless. Wow. Um, Custom 455. Yeah, all, every, okay. Every, we run everything. We're a job shop. Okay, nice. Like copper, beryllium copper. Oh, wow. Um, okay, and what about diameters? What's the largest? The largest. I know your smallest is over there is that little screw machine. Yeah, it's a one, one millimeter smallest. Usually our largest is about 10 inches. Okay, wow. the ability to do it. Yeah. Perfect. Well, nice to, nice to meet you and thanks for showing me Thank your you. talk. Okay.